Greetings there, fellow viewers. This is TechBizmo, and welcome to another video. Um, today, I'm going to be doing something that I have not done for quite a while now, and uh, that is a web browser review. Not really a review, um, but more of a taking a look at uh, sort of video, and um, a quick overview um, to let you guys know. If you don't know what my uh, taking a look at videos are about, they're basically um, a program or a Linux distribution uh, review from a person that's never used it before his point of view um, so yeah, yeah it's uh it's been quite a while since I have actually filmed a um, web browser a video dedicated to a web browser it was uh, my last video is actually on Firefox quantum um, as you can see a quick little clip of it here Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video, and in this video everybody, I'm going to be doing a Water Fox review, so yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, so, um, we're going to go ahead and test out a website, we're going to go to duckduckgo.com, just like that, and as you can see, it loaded right up, and I also have pretty fast internet, and uh, it loaded up pretty fine. So obviously you can tell that was quite a while ago, um, from the sound of my voice. <laughs> Um, anyways, let's go ahead and open up Firefox, or no, I apologize, Vivaldi. <laughs> um, yep, we do have it installed, so, yep, here we have it opened up. And, uh, the first thing you get, uh, is, as you guys can see, it just says, Welcome to Vivaldi. Take a moment to set up the basics and important, and import any existing bookmarks and settings you'd like to bring along, which, that's actually kind of nice, you can import, uh, any, you know, web browsing history or bookmarks or any of that sort of stuff from your previous web browser. Um, so yeah, as you could tell um, by what I said earlier, I have never used Vivaldi before. Now, I have opened it uh, once or twice in a Linux distribution in the past. However, I've never done an actual look at video or actually downloaded it, installed it, and played around with it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So. Uh, with that, we uh, also have these two options, skip all and continue. Um, but over here, we've got this lovely little sidebar. We'll go ahead and see. So we've got bookmarks, uh, downloads, notes, history. So that's your web browsing history. And then window. I'm not sure what window would do, but all of these seem pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, I'll take a look at those features a little bit later. Uh, and then we've got add web panel, which I guess you can add your own web panels. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I guess here you could actually add your own, like, webs, your own search web search engine or something, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, go back to Welcome to Vivaldi. Uh, so over here we've got, uh, yeah, Welcome to Vivaldi, uh, import bookmarks and settings, pick a theme, position your tabs, and uh, stay in sync, get going. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We're not going to select skip all. We're going we're gonna to hit continue so I can give you guys the full experience if you guys are checking out Vivaldi. Uh, import bookmarks and settings so you can import data from another browser like Chrome and apparently you can import Vivaldi browsing from Viva to Vivaldi <laughs> uh, from Vivaldi to Vivaldi. Um, I don't actually think I have Chrome. No, I do not have Chrome on this desktop. Um, I actually just installed Linux Mint like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and select Chrome. I don't know, maybe it'll give me a selection for Firefox later. Import. Huh, it says imported, but I start, I don't know, something makes me think that, uh, that didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll just hit continue. Ooh, pick a theme. So here we've just got the default Vivaldi theme. Then we've got human, hot pink, subtle, dark, and blueprint, beach, and light. Um, I don't know which one do you guys recommend. Let me know in the comments. Uh, for now, I'll just we'll just keep Vivaldi. Looks pretty nice actually. We'll go ahead and look at all these. Huh. I actually really like the dark settings. That looks actually really nice. Who knows, maybe this will be my new daily, daily driver web browser. <laughs> Alright, well, that's enough look at the, the uh, themes. We'll go ahead and click continue. Position your tabs. So, I guess I can select left. Yep, that's kind of cool. Bottom. Ah, there too. And on the right. 
let's see, I like it on the top, you know, the same experience you would get in something like Firefox. So we'll leave it as top and click continue and uh, stay in sync. So your Vivaldi account lets you sync Vivaldi browser data across multiple devices. This login can also be used to access email, forums, and blog publishing tools on Vivaldi.net. So I can set up a Vivaldi account and have it sync from all of my devices. For example, like my uh, Galaxy S9, I could, I guess I could download Vivaldi on there and have all my data import. Um, so yeah, we can set up an account, but I'm not going to do that. So we'll just go ahead and select skip for now. Um, yeah, get going. Vivaldi is a full, is full of useful tools and you can customize and tweak just about everything. Explore, try things out, and start creating a browser that's uniquely yours. I really like how it lets you customize everything by default. That's just like a super cool, I don't know, it's just a cool feature in my opinion, letting you customize the, uh, the uh, web browser right out of the box. Watch video tutorials, join the community, follow us around the web, get free email. Um, yeah, we'll just click finish for now. And here we are, uh, Vivaldi is finished being set up. So, uh, right here, we just got what, what's new in Vivaldi, I guess, the default second opened tab. I don't really need that, but right now anyways. Uh, speed dial. So, I guess it's kind of like, uh, that one you get in Firefox, what's it called in Firefox? Top Sites. Yeah, it's just like that, but it's just a different name. But I'll give them that. It's very creative. Speed dial. <laughs> uh, you can add a new speed dial folder. Cool. So I'm assuming you can do like YouTube. YouTube-web. <laughs> um, there we go. That's more like it. And then, I don't know, we could do something like Tech Bismo, which that should be in the YouTube tab. And then we could do Computers. I don't know, just... Just, I don't know, use your imagination if you want to add your own folders and stuff. But for now, we'll just remove all these. We'll leave Linux and YouTube. Um, up here, we've also got bookmarks. So, yeah, this is things you can bookmark. <laughs> um, I guess I can give you guys an example if you want to just tap, like, pin something to the top of your page. That's, that's the equivalence of bookmarking. <clears throat> up here we've got this these uh previous page and uh next page buttons very nice and then rewind visited domain so what does that do huh i guess that what is that like i guess that's like the last website you use like the last actual um url you typed in like the different domains the different websites i guess uh Let's say I'm on YouTube and I clicked a video, but I don't just want to go back to the front YouTube page. I want to go back to the previous website I was on. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. There's just a little example for you guys. Um, and then over here, you know, you just got your account stuff. So, yeah. And then we've got search Bing. So I guess Bing is the default search engine for this. Um, over here, yeah, bookmarks. Very nice notes so you can add your notes I guess uh, I guess maybe little reminders next time you open the browser like make a video and then I don't know maybe that'll yeah it's kind of cool I guess I'm not really sure how this works of course as you guys know I don't know anything about this browser this is all brand new to me and we've got history just currently what's new in Vivaldi and then window, yeah, I guess it's just your pin tabs, your recently closed start page. Yep. And then you can add some new ones. And up here we've just got file, where you can add a new tab, edit, under redo, all of that sort of stuff. You guys can check this out if you'd like. Bookmarks, all of that. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, check out the settings. Uh, if I can figure out how to get there, I was just, yeah, there. 
Um, so here in the settings, we can set a default search engine. So for me, I'm going to do https colon slash slash uh, duckduckgo.com. So that should start by default. So when I open up the page, it should automatically go to there, or that might just be my search engine. So when I go up here, it might search something in DuckDuckGo. Uh, go back to settings. Yep, close and exit. What does that do? I guess this is just like showing you, do you want to close all your tabs or just one? Just in case you close something that you don't want to. Appearance. You guys can check this out. Read all the options. Themes. So here's the themes we looked at earlier. Start page. Tabs. Panel. Address bar. And then bookmarks. Quick commands. Keyboards. This is all your key bindings and stuff. Very nice. Mouse. Doot. I guess I can change my... Oh, cool. You can actually add gestures in this browser. I'll be sure to check those out later. Search engines. Privacy. Downloads. This is your downloads directory folder. Your downloads directory, the one that you choose. And then sync. So this is where I can create an account and sync all my web history and my data and that sort of stuff. Web pages. Display all. <laughs> yep, this just shows all your lovely, lovely settings. Well, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you, I hope that gave you guys a good idea of the Vivaldi web browser. Uh, if you would like to check it out in the uh, link in the video description. Uh, not sponsored, by the way, but I don't know. If you want to check it out, check it out. Um, anyways, guys, thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, bye for now.